right. boys, are we getting her going? Let's yes. get her going. Yeah. going. Welcome to podcast number nine. I'm very, very excited about today's podcast. Number nine. We're number nine. <coughs> number nine. <coughs> you okay, Bubs? I'm fucking right out of her. Where are we hanging out today? Oh, nothing big going on today. Just at a coffee shop in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Dam Crank. Yeah, one of the most the original, famous. Original Dam original. The original Dam Crank. Very famous, this very This is awesome. the manager here. How are you doing? Yeah, doing good, guys. How do you pronounce your name? My name is pronounced like Ron. Just like Ron. It's just like Ron. Ron, manager of it's the really, Dam Crank. It's really no different than Ron. At no, Canada. when I heard it earlier, I thought he said Crom. Yeah, inter- international name, international. <laughs> so what does Dump Crank stand for? What does it mean? Uh, dumping means atmosphere in Dutch. Oh, nice. But damp is also vapor. Kring is like a, a ring. So you could call it a vapor ring, like a smoke ring. Atmosphere vapor ring. Trippy. Yep. You, you get all it. that out of one word. That's decent. I got a wonderful menu here at the dump ring. Lots What's of beautiful on there, reads. Ricky? Here, you want to read some of these out puffs? Well, I can't read that well. Right now, your vision's perfect. they got AG13, HP Hilton, Ghost OG, Holy Grail, Shoreline, OG Kush, Fire, Alien, Romulan. Star Trek weed, man. Oh, man. That sounds like it's pretty crazy. I don't know if we want to smoke that stuff. Yes, What's the craziest one on there? What's the most powerful one you think? Uh, mm, hard to say because they, you know, I think the AG13 might be the strongest of the sativas. AG13? That's the stuff we just smoked, isn't it? If yeah, you said you're gonna is. get a mild stuff, what's the man? what's the wheelchair weed like? A nice indica. What would that the most potent? Like the Ghost OG, yeah. Candy Kush. I've tried those. They're fantastic. Shoreline. And my favorite also the hashish. Oh, there's so many wonderful. Yeah, they got Sam Sarah Bodhi Nepalese cream, Himalayan Suda, yeah, Dura Bamian Buddha, Shabani Super Bizla. Baraka, Jala, Sahara, Pollen. We've tried a couple so far. I think we'll have to try a couple What's more What's your of those. favorite hash on there? I don't, that must be the Samsara Bodhi at the moment. Yeah? That's from the Nepalese side, you know? But okay. The Moroccan side, I think the Sensibile is really, really nice. And if you want to be couch locked, then go for the Dura. It's like the, 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 the greasiest hash I've ever seen. You know? really? just, ah, we'll try nice. some of that for sure. It's like bubble gum almost. Ricky, why do you have a whole brack of it here? Well, yeah, that's, uh, I'm buying some of this because it's awesome. We're going to try to mail it home. We'll see how that goes. That's great you said that. And, and we can even get gold. pre-rolled joints. That's what I love. You don't even have to roll. They're all pre-rolled. This is fantastic. There's papers and filters on the bar. Yeah. I love These it here, man. Surface is a high standard, man. I should have been, been born here. These, Definitely. so just, just this stuff here. No liquor. No liquor. No. No. That's no liquor. That's changed in 2007. Before that, we had a full-size bar with beers and oh, man, drinks that and everything. Been awesome, right now. And it was a big party time, but then the government decided to change that, and then you had to choose for liquor or for smoke. And we went for the smoke, obviously. Yeah, well, good. good enough choice. places, enough places in town to get liquor. Well done. That's yeah. the way to do that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need liquor. We'll get liquor after. Look at this, boys. Did you see this? Soon, boys. Did you What's see that? the big clog I got? What the hell is that? Clog. That's a big wooden clog, Ricky. It says Holland on it. That's the type of shoes they wear over here. I'm going to take it home. People don't actually wear those, do they? Yeah, I think so, didn't they? Farmers yeah, used to wear yeah, these. Fam- the farmers wear them, still. Still? Big wooden. Otherwise, you sink away in the clay, man. We no. call those big wooden ki- uh, shit kickers back home. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're going to drag that around for the rest of the trip, Bubs. You do know that, right? Well, I don't mind. Good. It's a big shit kicker. I'm going to put like a little bit of foam in there and make a little kitten bed. I'm going to have my kitty sleep in that. You kind of need to get lost in the woods and you're cold and you need to make a fire here. You can light your shoes on fire, I guess. Although, if you're in the woods, I guess that wouldn't make much sense. Ricky, you don't want to burn your shoes. Why don't you just burn a tree? I know, I never thought. I'm pretty pretty fucking baked right now. I guess you guys are too. This place is awesome. I'm having a tough time keeping it together. If we had some booze to, like, you know, balance it out a bit, maybe, that'd be better. But Have some of these wonderful, delicious cakes and... Things. I don't know how you do it, man. What do you, how are you eating that? <laughs> what do you mean? You just put it in your mouth and swallow it. No, I know, but it's jammed with weed. Can't even taste it. It's starving. That's proper mate. Proper mate. So, you can carry around, what is it, five grams here legally? Yeah. You can have five grams in your pocket the person without any problems. Nice. And what if you had sex? Like, what would happen? Would they? 
Well, I'm smoking for 36 years and I smoke anywhere. You know, like, I don't overdo it, not in big crowds or stuff like that. But I never have been stopped by the police in 36 years. I've been smoking next to police or uh, policemen. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we they don't care really, you know. It's more that if you start to make troubles, you know, then yeah. they will act. You start acting like but that I, weed. I think if they catch you with five, 10 grams in your pocket, they will, they will slap your hand or something and warn you not to do that again. Oh, yeah. So it's say, not legal, but it's not illegal? Or it's... Well, it's it's legal inside. Okay. You know, like, there is like a permit that the coffee shop gets. If you have that permit, you're allowed to sell wheat to customers, five gram a person. You can have only 500 grams in the shop that you stock. If That's... you have more than that, then you can be in deep trouble. That's wow. pretty good supply. They can use a close you. It's not bad supply. But the back door is a different story. We are not allowed to buy it. We're allowed to sell it inside, mm -hmm. but I do need to buy as well. Oh, that's pretty fucked and up. That's still wow. illegal. Oh, a little bit of... <laughs> the growing is still illegal. A little wow. gray area there. A little gray that's, area. That's a gray area, yes, the back door. So if you area. have 500 and then you go down to 100, you can bring in 400 more? Or? We have to. But they're not allowed to buy it. No. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a weird situation. It's a weird yeah. situation. Well, it's a wonderful place anyway. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, we yeah, probably, well, I guess you probably have to get back to work, do you? I am. Well, cheers, it's man. It's a very busy place. We will be hanging out here all day once well, this podcast well, finishes. Or I will be. I hope you enjoy nothing. yourselves in Amsterdam. Thank right, you, cheers, Ron. Guys. Love Thanks, you. Ron. Damn crank. Atmosphere vapor rain. How you feeling, Bubbles? Oh, I'm fucking. I'm doing pretty good. Do you guys hear a car alarm? Yeah, I know, but that sun's that coming out and baked in my mind. It's fucking hot. You know what? I guess I should have a little bit of this. They're a lot of fun. How much weed's in it, Rick? I don't think much. It's not much in it, you sure? No, oh, you don't even taste though. it. Fucking delicious, whatever it is. It's amazing. So what are we going to do while we're here in Amsterdam, boys? Well, I was thinking about, so you know, Bicycles, you've seen how many fucking bicycles. They're fucking everywhere. I've tripped everywhere, over man. a couple of the goddamn things. Yes. I started thinking. Silent killers, they call them. I started thinking there's a fucking there's a fucking gold mine to be tapped into here. You imagine how many fucking bikes are in the canal. All the bikes that you oh, could man, do. Oh man, there's a get. shit ton in that canal. I see what you're saying. There's a bike graveyard here, Ricky, apparently. With sixty thousand bikes in it. Sixty no thousand bikes. If we could somehow get those shipped back. We can't ship them back. No, no, we can move over here. I'm here. thinking about moving over here. This is this place is incredible. Although Rick, I don't like the fact that it's just, legal to buy dope. That's kind of fucked. But. We can't just move to Amsterdam. Oh, well, just for a bit. Put in a little shift. You can fucking go diving for bikes in the goddamn canals. I'd come over for a little while. Definitely. I'd come over for a little while, but we can't. Although I'd be scared of you over here, Bubs. Once you've got a bit of money and hanging out in those red light places. Yeah, that's what we should be talking about. The red light district here, boys. We took the a stroll around there last night. It was pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's even crazier than I would have thought it is. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> so I did a little research. Do you know that the, the red light district hawkers, the average client turnover rate is six minutes. Six, six minutes. minutes. Six minutes in, six minutes out. Oh, wow. Another one in, six minutes gone. Yeah, six that's... minutes gone. It's kind of a bear. Does he need more than six minutes, do you think? Clubs? Mm -hmm. You never know because, you know. Yeah, what? I would. Probably. Need the full hour. Full hour. Well, I don't Why? think I could ever get with one of those ladies, although there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Lots of people love it, but hey. People love doing it, man. Yeah, it would take me a lot more than six minutes because I wouldn't, I don't know, it would feel weird. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't pay for it. We got a like, tour in there yesterday and they just got old rubber fuck mattresses. Yeah. Just right. like a dirty old rubber. They just hose them down. Just hose her down at the end. Next. Just bring them in, just putting them through like cattle. Yeah. I wonder how many, I wonder how many dudes they bang, like, a day. What's, I wonder what that average is. Well, that's there's, the other thing. The two twins, wasn't it, Ron was saying? Two twins just retired, yeah. they're 70 just years wait, old. Yeah, I've got some info on them here. You got some intel? Somewhere, there are two twins. Oh, the 70 year old twins. Yeah. yeah. yeah they that. finally just retired. They, they just, just retired. retired. Where is it? God damn here it. it is. No, yeah, here it is. This February, Amsterdam raised the minimum age for prostitutes from 1821 for Louise and Martine Fachensel, 
Well, that's what was the, her last name? Falkins. F O K K E N S. That's a great that's name a great for a couple name. of hawkers. Oh, Louise and Martine Falkins. Bubbles, you gotta try one of these fucking things. Just take a little nibble off. <laughs> You're gonna shit yourself. What is it, man? I don't know. Fuckers. But it's fucking delicious. Listen to this, boys. Okay. Louise and Martine Fuckins. The Fuckins twins. It's the maximum age that's cause for concern. The 70 year old twins <laughs> are believed to be Amsterdam's oldest prostitutes. The Sun reports. After more than 50 years on the job and approximately 355,000 men between Holy them, shit. they've they, decided to retire. Oh my they put God. in a serious shift. <laughs> 300, they're putting the fuck in there, putting their box, getting it, getting it bronzed and putting it wow, up on the mantle, That'd retiring be like it. Two or three a day at least. You know what? We should try to go talk to No, these Ricky, do the math. I did. 335,000. How in many years? 50 years. They're doing, oh, well, let's do the math. 355,000 divided by 50 years. You need a calculator. Divided by 50 years, and then. The three. They got to be banging at least 25 people a day, Shut seven up. days a week for 50 years. That's a lot. That's not even possible. That's a lot of banging. That's a lot. They of... did it, man. How would their plumbing hold up? Look, that's think about oh, it's that. probably pretty <laughs> fucked up. It's probably pretty weather beaten. <laughs> yeah. It's probably pretty weather beaten yeah. and pretty pretty the old cast. Pretty jackhammered. Pipes. My buzz on keeps getting a little high. Oh shit, because. I guess because these keep, things they're fucking just so tasty. Delicious, man. I can't oh, stop. They should be allowed to put weed in it too. Oh yeah. No, that's actually hash. Great. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it was just a snack. It's not that big of a deal. Now we don't have to eat lunch at least. Well, you kind of do. Oh, fuck all right. Boys. What's next, buffs? Yeah. What, do we, what, what else, else do we want to talk about here, guys? Well, there's just some. Oh yeah, there's a cat museum here. Called Cat and Cabinet. We have to go. We're not going to the fucking cat museum. We're going to the cat museum. You can go when you're Oh, we time. most definitely are going to the fucking cat museum. For what? Right. What is it? Kind of, how is there a museum about cats? What would be in there? I don't know. Stuffed That's why cats? we're going. No, there won't be Famous stuffed cats. cats. Were the cats invented here or something? Like, I don't even get it. Yeah, cats were it's just probably a, just it's interesting. Don't kitties. People love said. kitties. We're going there. I just I don't even know how that could be a museum. We're All going right. there later today. Bubbles, what are the, these sheets you printed? Are some really fucked up things on here. Don't yeah, go man. breaking my shrimp. Boffin or Bofin or whatever the fuck. B O F F I N. Name is crustacean after Elton John's appendage. Which yeah, appendage? Sure. His cock. That's what he's probably talking <laughs> about. I think. That's, yeah, they found this. This new type of shrimp that's got this big wang on it. <laughs> and the scientist who discovered it, he always listened to Elton John in his lab. Okay. This so is... he named the, the official scientific name of the crustacean. Uh huh. Is what is it? <laughs> it's right here. It's called Lu Lucotho El Tony. <laughs> See, you just printed these fucked up stories out because you knew I was going to be baked into my goddamn yeah, mind. Yeah, look, so that's an Elton John crab with a big wang. Elton John shrimp, I mean. That is the most that's fucked, fucked thing up, I've man. probably heard it's in a while. It's real, too. It's fucking dumb. That actually happened. Yeah, let's <laughs> go invent a new shrimp and we'll name it after Elton John's wang. Boys, right. I would baked. find out I'm, just too, I'm too big to get into reading all this shit. Yeah. It'd be cool if you had a yeah. shrimp named after your wang, though. Why would that be cool? You don't think it would be cool to have a shrimp named after your wang? No, like with a real scientific name? Oh, no, man. Lucotho Giuliano? Bubs is fucked. Let's move on to something else, Let's man. Move on to something else. Maybe, maybe I don't want to move on. Oh, you want to keep talking about shrimp okay. wangs and Elton John's wang and wang, wang, wang? <laughs> <laughs> Wingy wang. Look how nice it is, out, boys. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's Sitting nice. in Amsterdam here, right out of it. Right out of her. What else is she? Oh my god, see, you know, printed yeah. these stories on purpose. An Oklahoma, or Oklahoma man was sentenced late on Thursday to 30 years in prison for ass phi z 18 his stepfather. Asphyxiated. His stepfather with an atomic wedgie? Yeah, he <laughs> killed his stepfather. What's with an him? atomic wedgie? Atomic wedgie, I believe, is when you get the wedgie, you know, yeah. and you get the underwear up over the person's head. What? <laughs> what? 
That's, I believe, a Tom. How's that possible? I can't remember. Tom it's either you get the <laughs> underwear band up over the head or you get them off the ground for three seconds. Uh, that's a hover wedgie. I've heard of that. That's a hover wedgie. Yeah, no, so Atomic must be underwear up over the head. Up he over killed him. He fucking killed him, yeah. Yeah. No, he first degree him. manslaughter. He actually pled guilty. He choked him. He choked him with his underwear. Remember, you you, you almost you almost uh, put a guy in the hospital with a wedgie, remember? That was a hover wedgie. That's just because his, his balls went up inside of him and they, they couldn't get them back down. <laughs> He's trying to jump up and down to get them out. Yeah. So I build a little hash snowman bubs. Oh, neat. Isn't that nice? <laughs> little hash snowman. <laughs> Why would you build a snowman in Amsterdam, Ricky? It's, the sun's beating down on us. Why wouldn't you build like a little hash sun? Well, I just feel like I'm in Disneyland world over here and it's like Christmas that I would have got this trip. And it's snowman, bike. Christmas, and a bicycle. I was going to build a reindeer, but that would have been way too fucking hard right now. Let's put him right a there. Flaw, All right. There, he can be the. <laughs> he can be the guardian of the claw. <laughs> Look, what's his name? Uh, super fucked. Because that's how I feel right fucked. now. Yeah. This is super fucked, guardian of my claw. All <laughs> right, what else did you type up to freak me the fuck out? Okay, see, you did this on purpose. It's making me I fucked didn't up. Just do it like that. You're ruining my buzz on. In fact, I think I need to get a little bit hard. Level over here. What about this guy that's leaving pieces? Yeah, of just meat. look at that. Police investigate after a cloaked figure leaves raw meat near NC playground. Yeah, there's a report to this guy wearing a cloak and he's going into parks and different places and he's leaving big hunks of red meat around. And people are freaked out by that? Well, what do you figure he's doing? Maybe it's Jesus. Number one, I don't think it's he a came guy. came back and he's leaving Pups. food for people that need it. Hey, Pups, that's definitely a chick. See there? Maybe, maybe not. Nice investigation, Ricky, boys. Why would you think of Jesus? He's supposed to come back. That's what my dad always said. And a cloak. Yeah, leaving but why would he come back? Park. Yeah, why would he? Why would he do that? Because he'd be like a rock star. People are like, hey, can I get your autograph? And shit like that. Want to hang out with him and talk he's to him. He's probably just autographs, trying man. to stay under the radar. Well, and they so can't Jesus catch him. wearing a cloak just to disguise himself because he's a rock star. Well, if I saw Jesus go down the street, I'd be like, hey, bud, we got to have a little chat here. You know, that's so all you'd say if you saw Jesus people would have down him. the street. They would fucking drive him crazy, I bet, and that's why he hides out. He probably is, has been back for years. Boys. I think he's been around Boys. for What years. kind of beat is it? Is it good, healthy beat? Oh, or is it like beef jerky? Is it turkey? It's meat. It's raw meat, man. Red meat, it says. Well, if it's red, then it's not gone bad, so it's probably someone doing a good deed. Well, why don't you go fucking check it out? So that one didn't freak me out at all. Nice try, Bob. That's meat, Ricky. Nice try. I can't believe you're smoking more of that. That's the really powerful stuff. I don't even care anymore, man. <laughs> Give it in. How come we only bought one clog? I'm just going to wear one clog and no, one I've normal shoe? No, I've got the shoe? other clog. I just brought one clog to demonstrate. Okay. You know. Are they comfortable? I find them quite comfortable. Really? I thought they'd be just flat and, you know, shitty. They can't be comfortable, pups. They do. They have, like, arch support and they're curved on the inside. Curve your foot. Boys, just, don't, just don't wear them around, okay? You ever think about how they make them? Or do they just find them like that in the woods? Is there a certain tree that grows like that with this tall Ricky, this, don't Think about what you're saying there, man. They definitely don't find these in the woods. Well, you they're think made of wood. A clog tree? I don't fucking know, fucking man. fucking grows these and they just harvest them, cut them out, pick them like That's apples? That's fucked. Well, these <laughs> things are a little bit different over here, all right? You never know. Well, they might have to do a bit of work to them, or maybe it's like an extra soft wood that they just scoop out with their hand, like it's got. Like a fruit. It's a fruity wood. No, man, it's not a fruity wood. <laughs> a fruity wood. Like, take a melon baller, you mean, and just scoop her out. But then why would the shell be hard? Well, I don't know. It's like a nut, then. That's <laughs> fucked. It's like a nut. <laughs> I gotta put this out. Oh, yeah, put this out, please. <laughs> it's like a nut that you scoop out. Like melon a melon ball. Tripper can't keep it together over there. He's he's higher yeah, than all know, of us. He's as high as fuck. He's in paradise here. Chipper, how you doing? Very, right out of her? Very high. There's a street not too far from here where Chipper's been spending a lot of time. I'm not sure what that's all about. All right, I got a question for you guys. Apparently a lot of guys like to hang out there. Does it seem like we've been doing this for about 17 hours? 10 minutes. 
Shut up. It's only 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 no, 20 minutes. minutes. I'm just fucking with you. 10 minutes. 20 See, I, I believe the 10. All right, I shouldn't have put that no, in. No, I thought it was in around 20 minutes. Bullshit. You think you know everything, Bubbles. Yeah, man. I do. What else you got for us? Anything else you want to freak us out with now that we're even well, there's yeah, more thanks, high? Ricky. There's Muffins. Lucy Lou, the dog mare of Rabbit Hash, Kentucky. Okay, that, that's too much. We already right talked about Lucy Lou, though, didn't we? <laughs> Did we? No, we didn't. <laughs> I thought we talked about Lucy Lou like two podcasts ago. Chipper, check this is not the case. real Lucy Lou. Is not it? Lu we need this to isn't know. Lucy Lou, the it's actress. A dog, this is a I know it's the fucking dog. The oh, we did talk about it, did we? The president of the United States. Okay, <laughs> you didn't mention that fucking person. You did? Sound like you, Ricky. We talked about yes, this? Yes, we did, man. I'm telling you. You know what? We Maybe we, we should dog. stop getting so fucked up for podcasts, boys. Why? It's probably pissing people off. No, it, why would why people why be pissed we, off, Ricky? Because we're sounding like we're not as smart as we might be. No, maybe it's you high, are Come on. not as smart as you might be. I'm surprised you didn't talk about this. John and Yoko's week-long bed in at Yes, Amsterdam I'm going Hilton. there, too. Amsterdam right. Hilton, I'm going there and renting the room. What are you going to do in there? I'm just going to hang out in the bed. Yeah? Is that why you borrow all those pictures to of Yoko? I'm going to do the Amsterdam Hilton. I am in our bed for a week. That's why you brought the full-size poster of uh, Yoko. Gonna recreate some action in there, eh? Yeah? Didn't bring a full size poster of Yoko. Well, I thought Did I saw you bring a full size poster of Yoko. It's seriously, bud. No, I didn't. Don't Where lie. the fuck would I get a full size poster of Yoko? You probably brought a printer that prints out full size posters. Yeah, buddy. I didn't do that. You know what, Bubbles? You said you're gonna be all prepared for this because you knew I was gonna yeah, be too man. big. Like, and this was way too much shit. You, you gotta, like, break stuff. Other than Elton John's cock shrimp and. No, I just. Fuck. Like, I don't know, man. Most of these pages are blank. I've just been enjoying myself here. You guys don't know half the things I've done since I've been here. Because I've been getting up early. I went swimming in the canal oh, today. You didn't go swimming in that fucking thing. I did swim. We should get really big to take out one of those uh, swan boats. Holy fuck. A what? Don't they have swan boats here? The ones you pedal? Paddle? Paddle, paddle? Paddle, paddle? <laughs> swan boat. <laughs> well, you know, just one of those boats that you get going with your feet. But why, like, is it, why is it a swan boat, Ricky? Well, you know, I like swans. And if they have those, I'd prefer to get one what, of those. What was your thing with swans, man? I don't Every know. Every time we go somewhere, you want to go fucking see the swans. They're, it's fucked. They're a glorious, glorious bird. But why? What makes them glorious? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's their necks. <laughs> like their necks. When you're really big, they can do all these weird things with their neck. <laughs> Didn't you wish you had a neck like that when you were young? <laughs> no, man. I've never thought about having a fucking neck like a swan. Are you kidding me? You are fucked. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think the muffins are kicking in, boys. <laughs> Great. And the cookies. <laughs> and the cookies. <laughs> and everything else. I think I'm too far up to continue. <laughs> no, you're not. What are you talking about? We're just having a great time. <laughs> Ricky. So you want to... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you want that you want to have a neck like a swan when you were younger? That's fun. <laughs> Why would you want a neck like a swan, Ricky? So you can see behind you. <laughs> Stop it, please. You're killing me. Boys, I don't think I've ever been this high. Oh, yes, you have, Ricky. I thought I had, but I can't I make stuff like liquor. this. I've made a lot of stuff in my day, boys, but this, wow. I need to. Uh, These people know what they're doing. I need a lot more booze, guys, like, <sighs> soon. I need to eat, and I can't I eat anything else with weed in it. Yeah. Should we finish that joint? I want to keep no, talking man. about snow. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, I, I just assume it? that when you see a swan, how fucking cool they are. They're a big bird with a long neck, kind of like a giraffe, and they can turn around, look behind them, and kind like of look. Like a what? A giraffe. A giraffe. What's a the giraffe? fucking horses with the long necks. <laughs> it's a giraffe, it's, Ricky, and it's not a horse with a long neck. It's, they're way bigger it's than a horses, giraffe. Man. It's a totally different kind of animal. <laughs> so okay. because you like giraffes with the long neck, you want it to have a swan neck. <laughs> we can't talk about this anymore, boys. Well, I think Please. we should get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Haven't we already? <laughs> I don't know, have we? <laughs> Yes, we have. I still don't understand why you wanted to have a swan neck. I just think it was cool they can look behind them and look around. They can almost do a 360 with their necks. 
I know, but when you're saying you wanted a swan neck, did you want your neck to be like, you know, four well, or five feet long? Well, just all of a sudden, there's something up here, and you're like, you can't see it. You're just like, mm -hmm. Boy, so we Go gotta stop up. talking about swans, please. Okay? No more. It's like a snail is like a slinky neck that can turn right around. A slinky neck. <laughs> Their neck's not like a slinky. It can expand and go back. Oh, no, it can't. <laughs> Ricky, they don't have a fucking accordion neck. Alright, well it looks like it when you're super big. They can definitely turn around completely. What other animal necks do you like? That's my favorite. The swan and the drac. Well, what necks do you like? I'm not really into necks. I've what never is... really thought about it. So you've ever, ever looked at any kind of animal and said, fuck, I wish I had that feature. Nothing. Oh, I wish I had bird wings. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. I've thought about that quite a bit. Which would be cool. Why? You guys are fucked. You wouldn't want to have bird anymore. wings? I uh, know. So you, were you have. looking at a swan? When you saw the wing? No, I was looking at an ostrich. They who incidentally has a beautiful neck. But can't fly. No. Or did I get that wrong too? No, they can't fly. That's correct. And that's, I don't want those wings. I want flying wings. And I wouldn't mind having eagle talons. Yeah, but then you, you things, no one right? want to hang out with you because you fuck up sometimes. You start slicing people up. Have I had eagle talons? God, boys. What animal have you looked at? Let me guess. Cat or something. A cat. Soft fur. <laughs> no, man, no. <laughs> I've never thought about being an animal. Ever, ever, man. Not even once. You probably, <laughs> I, I know what to, animal like a, you want to be. What? A horse. No, he wants to be a muscular racehorse. He wants to be a shaved gorilla. So he can just go to the gym. <laughs> I would not he can go to, to the gorilla gym. I actually, I would like to be a gorilla for maybe an hour. That's it. <laughs> This what would you do? This big, though. What would you do as a whatever gorilla? I wanted, man? I'd be just checking, you know, walking into stores, <laughs> just grabbing shit, leaving. <laughs> so you want to be a gorilla? You guys thought I was fucked, and we've all thought about it at some point. Why? What's the first being thought? an animal or part of an animal? No, I don't want to be an animal, but I would like to have eagle talons anyway. and wings. Okay, I'd anyway, like to get in a fucking on. boat with pedal paddles at some point. We'll Maybe go, a swan. We'll go on the pedal paddle or the paddle paddle boat. Maybe a fucking shaved gorilla. Why, pedal you, paddle why boat. is everybody saying paddle twice? I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just man. a paddle boat. It's not just a paddle paddle boat or a pedal paddle. <laughs> pedal paddle. It's not a pedal paddle. <laughs> well, there's piddles that pedals, pedals that make right, the so paddles for the. Uh, a bit later on. Oh, oh right on. Jesus, thank you, thank you Ron. Oh, Fuck Ron. I love this place. I love it here. Look at the crystals. Boys, I can't red here. And that. What did he give us? There's nice. some shoreline. Okay. Looks delicious. And there's and some. Wonderful. There's some something Hilton. Suez Hilton, I think it says. Or Pere, I don't know. Yeah. And there's AG13. He said that's the. That's the crazy shit. That's the nuclear. All the right. Nuclear stuff. Looks like it's going to be an interesting afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll go the to the piddle paddle. We'll go to the kitty. Boats. Let's so here's let's just do a quick recap okay. before we wind her up here. We're going to go for a swim in the canal. You are. You are. We're going to go piddle paddling. I'm doing okay. that. Yes, baby. We're going to the that. cat museum. Maybe. maybe. No, maybe. We're going to the fucking cat museum. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna go look at animals and decide which ones we want to be. No, we're not doing that. We're doing that, aren't no, we? There's, there's I don't no, know. That'll be fun. We're not talking about animals and what we want to be. Well, it depends anymore. what we see. We might see something and then go see. Okay, that's for, okay. But we're I need an go eye shower. Have to what? An eye shower, because I now my eyes are all dry. An eye shower. Well, I had tears from a bit of laughing. What's an eye? How do you do an eye shower, Ricky? Just hold the shower over your eye. It's just called a shower, Ricky. You don't have to call it. I don't need to wash shower. anything else though. Just here. No, it's if all you're gonna get into a shower, here. fucking do the whole thing, man. All right. What else is on the list besides what? When you take an eye shower, mm -hmm. you get all your get your rag off, or do you just get in with your clothes on? Not if I'm just having an eye shower. I don't have them that often. When I do, yeah, just I got the little handy, little handy shower. Take that. And just right. you could be fully clothed. Another way okay. to do it, which is real easy. What? Just piss into the wind. Yeah, I guess, but then you're covered in your own piss. All right, let's wrap this up, boys. Let's go get some shit done, man. 
Are you sure? We're yes, wrapping it up. I need a drink. Bad. We've been here all fucking day. I'm stealing the bike. All right. No, you're not stealing a fucking bike. They're never going to know us, Bubs. They're everywhere. I know, but every one of them is owned by somebody, so the person that owns it's going to know right, There's so many up. bikes that I think you just grab one, you take it, and bring guys. it back. It's like a borrow system. I need a drink, seriously. I'm starting to freak out here a little bit. <sighs> okay, are we wrapping it up? I think we should probably wrap it up. We should. We might be too fucked to even be doing this, so we should. What was that thing that you told me, Ricky? Whatever you do, remind me to do blank after we're super fucked during the oh, Ricky, the I don't podcast. remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> remember to do what? Remember do to we do have to blank? Do? Remember to do... Mm, mm. Let's just sign off and we'll remember it after, maybe. Okay, so this has been podcast number nine. <laughs> Brought... Brought well, to you by. <laughs> that's what it was. Holy that shit, was the thing. Wish we got okay. so nice fucked up. We forgot to mention the sponsor. Good job, Bubs. Good job, buddy. We I forgot see, to I mention you. Wackerly. I reminded Wackerly. you. Wackerly and the Alma Combo. Yeah. I wish that bar was like right here and he was here. I take Alma as a Get combo right now. Fucking starving. <laughs> what do you mean? What? It's not Elmo Combo. <laughs> You mean you'd take Elmo like in a combo with fries and a drink? <laughs> yeah, it's super size. <laughs> no, it's Ricky, it's the yummy. Elmo combo. It's a little the bit barn. chicken remember? sauce. No, remember it's the bar in Toronto. Yeah, no, no, remember I know. Wackily bought it and he's redoing it. I just didn't know how you spelled it. We should bring him over here. Oh, shit. Oh my god, it. he would, he would love it over here. Bring right. Wackily here and he can pay for the drinks. That's I bet right, he'd Wack- pay for yeah. them. Please take. We us should get him on a podcast and bring him over here. He'd do another one for all the drinks, and he bet you'd buy you a bunch of ash, too, Ricky. It's been awesome. my favorite podcast so far. Actually, not my favorite. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, or I can't it. remember. All right. It's a podcast one, number nine. Fish is in the can. Is it really number nine? Yes. Just stop talking and look at the can. Which can? Yeah.